Hi, boys and girls of Room 5 at Riverway. It's Miss Ann. Um, I would like to read you guys a story today, just like we do at school. I hope you guys are staying safe and having fun. So the title of the story is called One Dark Night. The author, what's the author, you guys? You're right, the author writes those words. That person today is Lisa Wheeler. And the illustrator, what does the illustrator do? You're right. The illustrator draws those pictures. Good job, guys. The illustrator is Ivan Bates. So Miss Ann's going to read you this story just like I do at school. And this one's cute because there's some shadows in it, just like we've been learning at school. In a wee little house, in a wee little hole, lived a wee little mouse in a wee little mole. Here's the mouse. Here's the mole. They munch tiny crackers and serve tiny teas. Filled with wee tiny smackers and wee tiny cheese. Meanwhile, giant lair. What's a lair? It's where wild animals rest and that's well hidden. Never near a big giant glen and a glen is a narrow valley. No, like a narrow path in the woods. Lived a big giant bear in his big giant den. The den is his house. He growled beastly growls. He stomped beastly feet. And he stuffed his beastly growl holes, sorry. <laughs> and those are his cheeks, the bear's cheeks. He filled them with food with a big beastly treat. Look at him. Look at that table and all those treats he has. Mmm, and look on this page. Look, the fire is casting a shadow on the floor from the grate or the gate that protects the fire so that we can't get into the fire. Look at that nice shadow it makes from the light of the fire. Then, one dark night. The two teensy friends left their wee teeny houses. They left their houses. Uh-oh, where are they going to go? I'm scared of the dark, Mo whispered to Mouse. There's no need to fear, Mouse said with a sigh. Then the moon disappeared behind the clouds in the sky. Meanwhile, and look again, guys. Look. Look at the mouse. The light from the, their house shining out is casting a shadow. And the same with the mole. Look right here. And look in this page. The moon is casting a shadow on them and on the trees. In the big giant lair, oh, that's his home, near the big giant glen, that valley again, the big giant bear stomped around his den. He peered out the door, he's peeking, he tramped and he paced, he went back and forth, back and forth, he craved something fresh. It means his tummy was rumbling and wanted something. He wanted something for a tr like a treat. Like maybe sometimes you guys really want those cookies. But instead you should have a piece of fruit. With a rich meaty taste. So there he is. He's sitting here and his stomach is growling and he wants that. He wants that meat. With a squish, squash, squish, and a trump, trip, tromp, 
Mouse and Mole trugged through the mushy, mucky swamp. Under sharp thistle thorns into a marshy, misty woods. I see lots of shadows in this picture. Look over here. I see the big shadow of the tree. To the big giant glen. There they are in that narrow valley where a gnarled oak stood. That's the big oak tree. Look how big it is and look. Look at all the different ways the branches go. Meanwhile, a bear licked his chops. Mmm, that's what he's doing. Mmm, getting hungry. Heard his big tubby tummy groan. I'm hungry, he roared, but he waited alone. The big bear's all alone in his den, his house. We're lost, shouted the mole. Don't fret, said the mouse. I'll climb up the tree and spy what's ahead. So he's going to climb up this big gnarly tree. Let's see. From tree trunk to branch, mouse pushed to the top. Fragile twig snapped, but mouse didn't stop. Look. The mouse broke a branch. Oh, oh no. Do you see? The teensy mole cried. It looks like a cave with a light on inside. Oh, look at that. Look. There's the mole. Being adventurous and he sees the cave and the light's on. <gasps> from, a, from deep in the cave came a giant growl. I want something to eat, and I want it now. Bear threw open the door, stomped out of the den. Bear, big sharp white teeth, Arr! and charged into that glen. Went right into that valley. Angry. Look at that face. He's angry. He's hungry. Mouse his ears. Uh-oh. Heard snarl and snuff for snuff. Something is coming. <gasps> and that something sounds tough. Look at him. He looks worried. Look at his face. He looks worried. Oh, and there's the mole. He's hiding behind this plant. I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> mole shivered. Mouse shook. Their forest stood up straight. Oh, look at them. Look at that fur. Oh, the something was bear who grumbled. You're late. Look, I wonder what they're late for. I don't know. Oh, then they skipped hand in hand from the glen to the lair for a big giant feast. Oh, look at that. He's, ho he's holding their hands and they're walking back to his house. With their best friend, Big Bear. And look at that. There's Big Bear and Mouse and Mole and they're eating all the food together as friends. Oh, I bet you sometimes your belly is hungry and you can't wait for mom or dad or whoever is making that meal. But you got to have some patience, right? Just like Bear had to wait for his friends, you got to wait for mom and dad to be done making that food. All right, guys, I hope you had fun listening to a story. I miss you. Stay safe. Remember, wash those hands. And mom and dad, if you see them singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars, that's because that's what we taught them at school. You sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars as you're rubbing all that soap all over your hands, and then you put it under the water to get it off. All right, guys, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.